This lesson is on using multiple percents. So we're going to take everything that we've learned about sales tax and discounts and tips and interest and we're going to throw it all together to where we have situations where we're going to have to find more or use more than one percent application. So we're just going to go straight to the problems. First example, Sammy orders four DVDs from Amazon. Each DVD costs $9.99. Find the total cost of his order if he has a 20% discount code and the sales tax is 6 and 7 tenths percent. Okay, so we have a couple of things here that we need to look at. The first is that each DVD costs $9.99 and he has four of them. He's buying four of them. Then we know that he has a 20% discount and then he's going to have sales tax. Okay, so we're going to have a few things we have to do. Overall, we want to know the total cost that he has to pay. So before we can figure out any kind of sales tax or discount amount, we need to figure out the cost of his purchase, what he's, the cost of his DVDs. So each one is $9.99 and he's getting four, so that total cost is going to be $39.96. Now that we know this, we need to figure out, do we find the discount first or the sales tax? Well, you're taxed on the total purchase, the total purchase price. So we need to take the discount away first. We need to take care of the discount, take it off, and then that new sell price is what we're taxed on. So we have to find the discount first. The discount is 20%, so we need to find 20% of $39.96. Now, we know two different ways, two different methods we can do this. One, we can do the multiplication, change the percent to decimal and multiply. The other one is we can do the percent shortcuts. And I'm actually going to do the percent shortcut for this one. If you want to multiply, you go right ahead. I know my benchmarks. I know I can find 10% of $39.96 because to find 10%, all I do is move the decimal point one place to the left, and I get 3.996. And since we're talking money, we need to go ahead and round. So this is my hundreds place, my cent, that's my rounding place. This six is gonna tell me to round this up to the next whole number, which is a 10. So this three, 0.99 actually rounds up to four dollars and I want 20 percent so I multiply that by two and I get eight dollars so his discount amount is eight dollars now to find the tax amount I need to know the total that I'm taxing on well if he paid if the price was thirty nine dollars and ninety six cents and we get a discount of eight dollars Subtract that $8, and I get $31.96. This is the taxable amount. This is the amount that we're going to tax on. So $31.96. I'm ready to apply my tax. My sales tax is 6.7%. With a decimal percent, it's going to be too hard to do the percent shortcuts or the middle math, mental math, so I'm just going to multiply. Remember, we have to change the percent to a decimal through your DP. Move that decimal point two places to the left, and you're going to get 67 thousandths. Now I'm ready to multiply, so I just multiply it out. There's 42, carry a 4, 63 plus 4 is 67. 7 plus 6 is 13, 21 plus 1 is 22. I move over, I'm ready to multiply by the tens place digit, so I need a placeholder 0. Now I multiply, 36, carry a 3, 54 plus 3 is 57, carry a 5, 6 plus 5 is 11, carry a 1, 6 times 3 is 18 plus 1 is 19. I don't need to multiply by, by the 0, there's no digit in front or to the left of it, so if I multiply by zero, it's all going to be zero, so I'm just going to not worry about that. So I add it all up, 2, 
13, carry a 1, 10 plus 1 is 11, carry a 1, 2, 3, 4, 9 plus 2 is 11, 2, and then figure out how many decimal places you need in your answer. Well, this factor has 2, this factor has 3, so I need a total of 5. So I start to the very right, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. <clears throat> Because we're talking money, I need to round to the hundreds place. This one is less than five, so it tells me that four, the four will stay the same. So my tax amount is $2.14. Now I'm ready to find the total cost. So I'm running out of room here, so I'm going to do it in red. The total cost is the tax amount plus the purchase price. Now remember, the purchase price was on sale and the sale was $31.96. The original price was $39.96. Then we had a discount of $8. So we subtracted and our new sale price was $31.96. This is what we add the $2.14 tax to. 10, carry 1, 10, 11, carry 1, bring my decimal straight down, 2, 3, 4, $34.10 total cost. This includes the discount and it includes the tax. Okay, so there was a lot of work in there. We had to keep track of the different parts. I probably didn't keep track of them as well as I should have. I should have probably identified more, labeled it, this said, okay, this is the discount. And then when I subtracted it from the total, I should have labeled this as the sell price, just to make things easier to find when we go to find the total cost. And then I could have labeled this as the tax. So maybe learn from my mistakes and, and label yours a little bit better than what I did. Okay, let's do one more example together. Ariana Grande is coming to the Houston Rodeo. Tickets regularly cost $86, but today they are in sale for 20% off. Mrs. Ward wants to buy two tickets for her daughters. She has $125. Will that be enough to buy the two tickets? Okay, so let's talk about what we know. We know that the tickets cost $86. And how many tickets does she want? She wants two. So we need to multiply that by two. and tickets are going to cost $172. So this is the two tickets, the cost of two, two tickets. Okay, so, <clears throat> so far it looks like she doesn't have enough money, but wait, hold on, they're on sale for 20% off. There's a discount. So we need to find this discount amount. We want to find 20% of the 172. Two different methods you can use. You can do the decimal multiplication, change 20% to a decimal, which would be two tenths, multiply it. Or you can do the mental math, which is what I'm going to do. 10% is going to equal, move the decimal one place, it's going to be $17.20. So I want 20%, so I have to multiply that by two. And the discount amount is $34.40. I'm going to do a better job. I'm going to label. So here's my discount. I do have a line for that, so I'll go ahead and fill this in also. <clears throat> so what is the total cost of the two tickets? Uh, I need to subtract. Discount means to subtract. It means the price is going to decrease. So $172 minus the discount of $34.40 have to do a whole bunch of borrowing and I get 60 there and 11 minus 4 is 7, 6 minus 3 is 3, 137, let me make sure I'm right, so 0 plus 0 is 0, 6 plus 4 is 10, carry a 1, so that's 8 plus 4 is 12, carry a 1, 4 plus 3 is 7, and 1. We subtra I subtract correctly. So the total cost of two tickets is $137.60. So we'll say final cost. Does she have enough? If she has only $125, 
No, she does not have enough. She'll have to go back home and get some more money. <clears throat> so this is the type of problems where you're going to use multiple percent applications, where you have more than one thing you have to look for in order to come up with the final, final cost. So your homework tonight is on the percent application worksheet packet. You're to complete problems 29 through 33. But before you get to that, I want you to go ahead and do this video check on your checklist. Mark has been offered the position of a car salesman at two different companies. Company A will pay a monthly salary of $1,500 plus 5 and 5 tenths percent of sales. Company B will pay a monthly salary of $2,400 plus 3 percent of sales. If Mark expects his sales to be around $7,000 a month, at which company will he make the greater salary? So we haven't done one like this before, but you're going to do it in the same manner. You're just comparing. So take each company individually. Here's company A. He will get every month $1,500 plus, that means to do what? Add, plus 5 and 5 tenths percent of his sales. So he's going to get a commission off of his sales. Okay, and he's expecting to make around $7,000. So you're going to use that as his commission amount and figure out if he worked for company A and he sold $7,000, what would his total salary be for the month? Then you're going to do the same thing for company B. Company B pays $2,400 a month plus 3% of the sales. So he gets $2,400 a month plus 3% commission of that $7,000. So figure out how much money he would make for the month for company B and then compare. Which company would he make the greater salary? Do this on your checklist. Make sure you have an answer statement. You show your work. Label your different parts. Have a company A, company B. Show what the commission is and what the total monthly salary would be for each. And then write an answer statement saying which one was the greater salary.